Hello everyone and welcome back again to a song and a word. It's a beautiful day, beautiful Tuesday. God is good and I'm glad to be back with you again to share a little of what God has put on my heart. Now today it's going to be more like an object lesson that God gave me but I still believe that it's worth sharing and it will encourage and bless you greatly. So again, um, thank you for subscribing. Um, thank you for sharing and liking and um, share to your friends, your neighbors, co-workers, whoever it is. Someone needs to be encouraged today. And that's what I'm going to do. I mean, sometimes the word, when it comes to me at the moment, I'm not even aware that it's a word. Uh, but... Um, I, I may go through a period where God may add a little bit more and then he may he might send someone else to say something on it and then I realize okay you know God is really saying something here so before we begin I just want to say another word of prayer um, if you're not into prayer that's fine but if you would like you can bow with me father we just want to thank you again for such a wonderful day um, we thank you for your awesome and amazing blessings on us even in this season of uncertainty and death and anxiety and so much going on in the world not simply um, with COVID but other diseases and other stresses in life and disasters here and there and the, 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 the uh, oppressions and the injustices that take place around us Lord it's enough you said to make a man's heart fail him for fear but today we still honor you we still glorify you. we still praise you Lord you are still worthy because you know we know that you will bring an end to all of these things and by faith we continue giving you thanks we continue honoring you we continue praising you we continue serving you because very soon Lord you're gonna break through for us in this life and for the life to come thank you so much in Jesus name Amen. So, battery, I got, I got it just really quick. Hold on. Let me see if I could plug this in while I speak. Uh, I may have to hold the phone. All right. So, um, reset. The great reset a reset god wants to do a reset for you i came about this little this little nugget if you want to call it that when my phone um i was trying to set my phone because i had lost the video that i wanted to share and i didn't realize that i had already deleted it for space and other things like that and then i went in and i tried to reset it and it gave me a date, it actually gave me the day before at 12 to reset, to restore it to, which would have given me back the video because I had done the video that morning. And um, it reset, but it didn't reset it to that date. It reset it to sometime back in December last year. Mind you, it still did not bring back the video or anything. It reset the phone, it cleaned the phone out, right, to like factory settings. Get this. But yet, my WhatsApp went back all the way to December. Last thing in my WhatsApp was December 16th. That's what it reset my WhatsApp to. And yet, it didn't, it didn't reset the photos to, to um, December. So I, I have nothing in the photos from December. This is what I'm saying. See, it, it was picky and choosy on what it wanted to do. <clears throat> Excuse me. Also, I realized that it put back some numbers in my phone that I had from like maybe three or so years ago when I, I had lost those numbers. Some of them I deleted because, you know, some people move, you know, you're not in touch with a lot of people anymore. And I deleted it partly for space and all those reasons. But a lot of those numbers came back into the phone. I'm scrolling through and I'm like, oh, whoa, these numbers. I was happy to re reclaim some numbers, actually. And so I'm going through the phone like, wait a minute, what's going on? And strangely enough, after a while, I'm there playing with the phone and fiddling with the phone. It's just a peace came over me. And I'm like, that is odd. 
looking at the phone and seeing how everything is cleaned out, I just had this peace. And the Spirit of God said, reset. I'm like, oh wow, reset, reset. Oh, I didn't do the song, did I? <laughs> I forgot about the song. All right, so let's pause. I'm going to do the song and then we'll talk about that reset and what God is saying that it actually means. In his time, in his time, he makes all things beautiful. In his time, Lord, you show me every day that you're teaching me your way and you do just what you say in your time in his time in his time he makes all things beautiful in his time lord you show me every day that you're teaching me your way and you'll do just what you say in your time in your time in your time you make all things beautiful in your time lord you show me every day that you're teaching me your way and you'll do just what you say in your time yes you'll do just what you say in your time and i know sometimes it's hard to wait on god's timing you know but his time is always best he knows how to deal with men's hearts better than we can better than we do and we don't know what god is working out in others and we don't know until it's done what god is working out in us and so in this reset God is doing a new thing because he wants us to be prepared for the work that he has for us to do. Whatever it is that he's asked you to do, what it, you know what it is. You know where he sent you. Whether it's a physical move or a spiritual move, something he's, start, he's asked you to, to, to get started on years ago maybe, weeks ago, whatever it is. But God is working in our character at the same time. And sometimes, like we said before, we got to take the first step and not wait to see something. But God said, I'm resetting everything in God. It's a new chance. It's like a new lease on life. And this new lease on life doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna, he's going to do away with every single thing. For you, it might mean just a different mindset that you have to take on. You might be in the same place, but God might teach you to think of things and the people around you differently and that is um, how we live to the best of our potential we have to live above the things that's happening around us the distractions the noise uh, even when it's real like the COVID and what's going on in the economy just the other day we faced so much trauma with with the onslaught of deaths in our black community and and the and the way that our men are treated it kind of died down now but just when our previous president was was um was still around we know all that happened 
then and I know our hearts bled it was a bitter time for many of us even though it was not it may not have been our husband or our brother our son we felt it as if it were our own and um, you know we may face a lot of other injustices because of how we look and not necessarily not necessarily just talking about black people other people face other injustices in their own way but God is saying for his people for his people he's given us a mindset to deal with things around us so that our influence can tell in favor of him at the end of the day we have nothing but God nothing but God it was how people survived in the toughest toughest of times whether it was war whether it was famine whether it was racism whatever it was hunger um, um, disasters that leave people homeless and in despair because excuse me their land is destroyed their home is destroyed by floods all that flooding that happened over over in in those areas in uh, India and different places where they had a lot of floodings and people being displaced not knowing how they're gonna start over or what they're gonna do and yet some of these people are the happiest people the most content people and our mindset by by and large has a lot to do with how we come back how we bounce back and how we move forward and as God did this reset thing in my mind He's saying, I'm going to cause you to see things in a different way. Your perception is going to change. It's going to be more of my perception. I'm going to give you my eyes so that you can see with spiritual eyes what's happening around you and respond that way because many people are responding in their flesh because they don't understand what's happening in the world today. And it is imperative for us to have a mindset change, a perspective change, reset our way of thinking. And also, um, when, when I got those people back in my phone, God said, some, some people are going to come back into your life. I'm going to do great things in your life, and I'm going to use you to bless those people who may have thought, you may have thought they were gone from your life forever. You know? And it's not necessarily that when people leave our lives or we are separated by natural circumstances that we may never see them again. Sometimes God is going to bring them back so that we can minister to them or they can minister to us. And, and also, uh, he can bring them back so that they can see what God has done in our lives. Our lives is going to be, are going to be the greatest testimony of what God is doing now in present day. We see a lot of messages and hear a lot of messages about the end times and what's happening in these end times. And the greatest reset is when God himself will put an end to all of this. And his great reset will be when he cleanses this world with fire and he sets up his kingdom on earth, literal kingdom. And he's going to do it not with new people, but with the old, the, the same people that he created from the beginning. It's not a new set of people he, that's going to be uh, inhabiting his kingdom. All right. So God has a great reset coming. But in the meantime, we have to change our minds and our perception and allow God to do in our minds and in our heart what he needs to do so we can face what's coming in these last days. It's not a time for us to be fretful, to be anxious, to be impatient, to be fearful. It's a time for us to understand that God knows what he's doing. He has the times and seasons in his hands and in his time, he's going to make all things beautiful beginning now. The reset is going to take place first in his people, in our hearts, in our minds. And then God can do great things with us and through us. All right, so I hope you see this word on today. And I hope it means to you everything that God has been promising you and showing you and leading you to do. Blessings, y'all. Take care.